Today I'm going to show you this really cool presser foot that you can use to get similar results that you would get with a serger, but you can do it on your sewing machine. Hey everybody, Trisha here with Sewing Parts Online. So let's talk about this overcast foot. What it does is it produces a stitch that wraps around the edge of the fabric that's going to secure the edges and prevents unraveling. It gives you a really professional look and you can do it all without having to buy another machine. Like how cool is that? Please go ahead and like and subscribe, that way you'll get notified of any future videos that we have. The overcast foot can be known as an over edge foot. The style of the foot may vary depending on the manufacturer, but essentially they work the same way. This foot has a little bridge or a bar within the stitching area. This allows more thread into the stitch. The needle will go back and forth over the bridge. Also, there is an extension off the front of the foot. This is a guide for your fabric. Once you select the proper stitch on your machine, when the needle swings to the right, it will be positioned just off the edge of the fabric, and when it swings to the left, it will be on the left side of the bridge. Most machines, from basic to advanced, can use an overcast foot unless your machine is a straight stitch machine. If it's a straight stitch machine, your needle doesn't have that option to go back and forth over the bridge, therefore it can't form the stitch. This is what the overcast stitch looks like on a basic mechanical machine. You can also use a zigzag stitch and a multi zigzag stitch when using the overcast foot. Just make sure to double check your manual so that you select the proper stitch and setting. Now this is how it's displayed on the advanced computerized machine. Completely different machines, but yet they both can use an overcast foot. My manual describes several different overcast stitches, just depending on what fabric I'm using. I went ahead and selected a couple of different ones. Um, the first one I want to show you is the overlock stitch. Um, this one is going to give you the look similar to what the professional overlock machines would give you. So, let's go take a look. Once you've installed the foot, slowly rotate your hand wheel towards you. Make sure the needle will not hit the bar or the foot. Now we're ready to use this presser foot. Another favorite is the knit stitch. This one is recommended when you're sewing on synthetic knits or stretch velours. It's going to provide you elasticity and strength. Please comment below. Let me know how you're planning on using your overcast foot. I highly suggest exploring the different stitches that you can do with this great presser foot. You'll find that it really makes a difference on your projects. You can use this presser foot to produce other neat results, such as fringe or even the look of a rolled hem like you would get on a serger. Make sure to check out our other video on the overcast foot so you can see all those cool ideas. Until next time, happy sewing everybody!